My name is Helmut Zahn. I'm an orthopedic consultant and have been since the year 1999. I work at the William Harvey Hospital and the East Kent Hospital Trusts and I specialise in hip and knee surgery. So minimally invasive hip surgery is essentially an operation which is done through a small incision, which means it gives a small scar, but what really matters is the fact that inside we cut a lot less tissue so that the patient can recover quicker and has a, a more secure hip joint and will recover faster. Because there is less soft tissue disruption due to the minimally invasive technique, the patient will recover faster, it can get out of bed, there will be less precautions to be taken, the wound will heal quicker. Overall, the patient will likely have less pain and mobilise, probably on the same day of surgery. Hospital stay is on average two days, so the surgery will be done on the day of admission. If the surgery is done in the morning, the patient will then mobilise in the afternoon and be discharged on the second post-operative day. Hip arthritis is common. The main reason for patients to have an operation is when the pain is affecting their quality of life to an unacceptable degree. Arthritis itself is not a dangerous condition, so it can be left if it doesn't cause symptoms. But as it progresses, the patient is likely then to be affected in day-to-day -day life in terms of exercise tolerance, activity levels, etc. And at the point where that becomes unacceptable, then surgery will be offered. If there is any concern about your hip problem, then go and see your GP and make a referral to the One Ashford Hospital and uh, come and see me. Mm -hmm.